The crimes associated with racism, especially against Asians, have been hiking since 2020. And you wrote in China Daily's international edition that it is time for Asians to stand in solidarity to fight against prejudice and racism. Do you think it is possible for the Asian people to be united? The most American thing of Asians is Chinese looking individuals, but we are very diverse. And we are very diverse in terms of culture, in terms of languages. This time, I think that the violence really become a trigger. It trigger us to rethink about who we are. Now, then the question is that is, if we're not united, each individual ethnic group is way too small. There's no voice. They don't even know we exist. So therefore, there is a rallying cry to him form unity within the Asian American community. So that we have around 6.5%, around 20 million people. So in that case, together, we may have a better chance to make a difference. I speak highly of Singapore. It's the shining example about racial harmony. They had the racial riots in 1964, right? But then how did they deal with the aftermath? Well, the government comes in. The government's actually formed in terms of uh, the community with multi-racial group. And also they changed the curriculum in the national education to teach the students, the young kids about multiculturalism, multi-racialism. Then once there's a better understanding, it makes a big difference. So now, actually, it's very interesting. If you visit Singapore, you ask them, how do you identify yourself? They say, I'm Singaporean, but I may be in with an Indian descent. Maybe I'm Chinese descent. So it's very different. This the nation comes first and your ethnic origin comes second.